In this section, uh, I want to discuss uh, very briefly um, the impacts that the US elections 2016 uh, could have next week on the equity markets. Um, and generally, uh, later on, I will also discuss uh, as one of the opportunities the dollar index as well. Uh, and we can we can look at that as well. Now, when it comes to the US election 2016, of course, the first uh, and most important uh, financial instruments to monitor is the SP500. And I like to follow the um, future, the mini futures here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've commented on, on this uh, chart, on this um, market for, uh, you know, only on average for over three years. Um, and um, for those who follow me know that we have modeled this market successfully capturing basically the last uh, three uh, bottoms here. And we did that. There's no magic in this. Uh, we just did that. By um, by following the sequences of measure moves and following basically the smart money, um, <clears throat> we had a sequence that uh, started back in 2012, and we have a traditional measure move, 50 percent retrace, from the low in 2011 to the highs in 2000 uh, and the beginning of 2012. Year there was participation at. Uh, uh, 1149 and I'm doing this analysis because I want to bring you uh, to down to what we have at the moment and I want to I want to show you first what's the uh, what are the possibilities from a technical point of view and then very briefly discuss I'm not a fundamental analyst and I'm not uh, a talking head I just look at price and um, and the uh, basic behavior of uh, what we what we could see and uh, what happened here is that we had um, in um, in 2012 we also had another 50 percent retrace here and then the market started moving in extension first and second target so we had highs to highs to model to model the um the next measure move now the high that we saw in 2013 is very very important it's also the high uh, of um, the, the high into in the 2000s basically okay so it's very very important and the high in 2000s was highest than the, the high in uh, um, 2007 actually so when we look at uh, when we look at when we look at price here and we look at a larger um, period of time we can see how uh, this high is very very important in fact uh, corresponds to the high that uh, we saw in uh, 2000 it's very very important why because <clears throat> these uh, these levels actually are uh, widely watched by smart money and uh, classes of value you know, particularly the the classes that we model here and then as you can see this price actually continued moving move, moving in extension so you know we kept using our rules and if you want to learn all the rules uh, my coaching program is the best way to do that and we captured before the fact that I have the videos uh, on uh, FX Street and my review capturing this load 1767 the that the level was slightly different um, for the way this continuous contract is composed together but we were able to capture and trade that it went to the first target and we applied the same rules and we were able to identify the lows in uh, 2015 coinciding with the lows at the beginning of 2016 so this is this is all uh, done before the fact in fact uh, several weeks before this high was actually uh, printed and this is very important to us because it gives us not only an opportunity to add to our uh, long-term longs as well as trades in these areas as we did but it allows also to project and understand what's going on now the market has traded the 1832 and there was strong participation on top of this market this is not going to be reversed uh, immediately here or uh, in a in a in a in a sudden drop uh, this market has targets above and has targets above 2200 here that's the first target and the second target is around 2400 which is 
which is the the uh, intermediate targets for this market. So I, I see no way yet, or uh, you know, for this market to actually um, to actually drop within this measure move that was participated around 1832, which is this level here. There were also there are there are also there's also another measure move an extension that got participation 1885 and actually uh, hit the first target here. So all this. Uh, I see it as profit taking in a moment in which the markets are uncertain. I will get into that later on. And in the past weeks and months, uh, you uh, will remember that. And if you don't remember, you can watch the videos I have. Um, I have presented the 2020 level, and the reason why it's there, it's because it's the next measure move of all these move higher here. Okay, so this market is still in long measure move, despite the fact you're seeing a correction here, and this can can become even more uh, the dramatic here as we get into into uh, the vote next next week. However, see, let me give you a little bit of perspective. I won't start talking of the possibility of entertaining a bear market until this market actually loses this area of participation. When smart money says, you know, I'm not going to participate, if this market comes back 17% correction from highs into the 1830, and then we lose this area, then we can start thinking about a bad market. So we have to be very, very careful when, uh, you know, there are a lot of opinions around talking heads and, and people who uh, believe they understand or they know what the market is going to do. The reality is that we don't know what the market is going to do. So we have to be very, very careful in this. And again, I'm not going to trust blindly the 2020, but this level is the one that at the moment has the highest probability of being participated by smart money. Now, if you add dump money as well, it gives us a, um, a basically a similar picture as you can see. These lines you see here are the monthly dump money uh, area and every time we saw in the past, not only in the past few years, but in the past decades, we we have seen this market getting into this area. Uh, and while these two moving averages are moving higher, we always have seen participation. Look at this below the area, into the area, into the area. Also close to a bad the start of bear market, but still we saw that continued participation higher. And again, here in this area, 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 even before the start of the match, which, which suggests that we should be very, very um, kind of, um, you know, we should not be alarmed here. Even if this market moves lower, we're going to get some sort of bounce also because the SP500 actually retraces uh, quite a lot. It's a mean reversal. Uh, market and and this is very very well known behavior. So now this market is suggesting something new this week and that started basically at the beginning of the week. You remember the last few sessions I mentioned and that's a typical behavior of price of all instruments. When price loses a, a, a bull or bear dump money area. In this case, this was a bull money area which supported price here and here and here. But once that's lost, the market very briskly, and you can review last Wednesdays as well, very briskly moves into the next area on the larger time frame of dump money. And that's exactly what we are seeing here at the moment. Okay. So um, I anticipate a continuation lower here uh, for this market. Probably into this 2054, and then uh, we're going to see some sort of bounce, uh, and I believe we're going to get another uh, another um, a move lower. Now, what I believe it's not really important because in the end I don't know what is going to happen to this market. What I anticipate, and I can only say anticipate, is that this market is going to eventually correct very strongly into 2022 and. And the strength of this is going to be driven by the level of uncertainties, uncertainty in the market. 
the more the market are uncertain and uh, the fastest are the move and uh, more nervousness is in the market and people tend to sell more easily. So let's look at the current election. Clinton represents basically the establishment, a continuation of the current policies, which in my uh, honest and humble opinion have not been um, great for, uh, for US. You see a very, very slow um, um, a very, very slow economy, despite uh, all the money that has been pushed in the system. Uh, uh, Trump, on the other hand, uh, represents change, but market do not um, do not uh, like uh, um, a change. Uh, whatever is is the the uh, the um, the uh, candidate presidential support. When it comes to the markets, the markets like certainty. So certainty, if, if Trump wins, will only come into the market after a few weeks, probably, when it will be very clear, uh, you know, which kind of uh, attitude more than the policies um, uh, and, and tone um, Trump might bring in if he's going to become president. So when we look at the charts, we clearly see a start of an area of potential bounce here below 20, 20, 55. So this could be a first place where we get a bounce. And notice that this, this area coincides with the first target of this measure move started at 2142. So market is behaving according to smart money pushing this price lower as well as dump money uh, basically not able to support this price any longer. So this, this market independently from uh, from the results of the of the um, election is going to move very briskly lower into 2054 and even lower now my take is that it's going to stop in this area it does not stop in this area and challenges the lows here which would be very very improbable uh, compared to previous history unless this turns up turns out being uh, a 1987 kind of crash, which, to be honest with you, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't see the indications. But again, anything can happen in the market. We have very clear levels here in our mind. So to me, very probably this area is going to offer the next uh, low an opportunity to buy into this market, and that's my take, depending on whether or not uh, Trump uh, wins the election. Now, remember there is still, and that's the last comment I'll do on this, there's still this 1832 level, which is our um, uh, area of last resort in a way. This has acted as a support before. The first target was never hit. Uh, participation came into this area twice in August and September 2015, beginning of the year, twice again. And in the case, I don't believe it's going to happen, but in the case this market gets back into this area, it is possible that smart money will keep supporting this price. And this would be a great entry opportunity because long term, uh, I, I, I totally support uh, the uh, view and idea of a couple of uh, very uh, long term and long experienced uh, in Canada, one is uh, Ron Maisel, founder of the Canadian Society of Tech Analysts, of which I am a uh, member and director, and uh, and also Leon Tway, 55 years in the market. They both share the idea that we're only seeing the start of this bull market. And I think 2009 is much more similar to 18, uh, 1987 than uh, than actually any other uh, period uh, in the market. That said, uh, I uh, don't know what the market is, is going to offer us, but we have areas and I gave you the areas of reference. So you can actually use this for your own decision making and trading as well. Okay, if there are any questions, um, I, will, uh, I will answer them. And, uh, uh, and I will answer them in the next section. And this concludes this section where we review the technicals before the US elections and we looked at what the SP500 can actually do. Thanks for watching. <clears throat>